I've always been interested in thinking about community and what community means and, and all the different ways of thinking about community. So if you, you look at this and, and you start saying to yourself, uh, look, there's so many ways to be individuals in communities and there's so many ways to be part of a community. If you really see yourself as an individual, you become much more an important part of a larger community. If you lose yourself and you're just part of a community and not the individual, I think that takes away from it. And, and people have asked me, why did I spend so much time making each piece so different? Why couldn't the pegs have all been the same? We all are individuals. I've never met a person that thinks they're exactly like anyone else. And I think that's something very powerful and very beautiful. Um, and I wanted this piece to make the individual feel that he or she could be part of a community but didn't lose any of their individuality. Beautiful story by Abraham Joshua Heschel. Again, I'm an artist, so I, if I get it wrong, <laughs> I, I just remember the way I heard it. And he said something like, um, do you like the Mona Lisa? And the interviewer said, of course I like the Mona Lisa. And he said, would you like to see a museum of a hundred Mona Lisas, or would you like to see a, a museum of many different paintings? Um, and I, I, that, to me, is what interests me is, of course, I'm proud of anything I am, but it doesn't take away from the fact that I'm fascinated by everyone else's diversity or similarities. And I like when people come in and they say, well, you know, did you want this to look something like a wall or like the Wailing Wall? Or did you want it to look like the tops of buildings? You, you make this piece of art and it goes out into the world and so many people can interpret it so many different ways. But you as the artist, it leaves your hands, it leaves your studio and it becomes something totally different for everybody else. And you have to learn how to let go. You know, the name of the piece is Safir. And um, you know, what, what does Safir mean? And, and you know, it is based on a Hebrew word. Um, but I want it to be what you think it is. I don't want to call, you know, well, anyone, you know, the Hebrew is, is about counting. I want it to be, I want the viewer to give a little of themselves to get more out of the piece. I think the more you give to the piece, the more you'll get out of the piece. Um, so I hope every person uses this interactive piece, counts it one year in one way, one year in another. And one of the things I'm most proud about being Jewish is that there's a joke that you ask two Jews their opinion and you get three different interpretations. I, I feel honored to be a part of a society and a culture and a religion that treasures that.